welcome back in this video we will try and focus on a topic which is very important as far as spring is concerned it's called component scan what i'll do here is i'll just copy the two things that we have created so jdbc connection and the person dao so we'll just copy these classes and create a few things around it so i'm copying them post pasting them so i'll call this component jdbc connection oops component jdbc connection and also the person dao i'll call this component dao i mean the names are not really important i just wanted to reuse whatever we already have so in here i'm changing the package name to spring.basics dot i'm saying spring.basics dot i'm not putting it in spring in five steps but i'm putting it in a different package so i'm putting it in a package spring.basics dot component scan i'm moving the component d over to that package that's cool i don't want it to use the jdbc connection so i'll come back to that a little later let's go ahead and say the component jdbc connection even that i would want to move it to the same package so i'll not have it in basics but i'll have it in the package component scan so basics dot component scan is the page package where i'm going to change this to so i'm moving it down there so just control one and you'll be able to easily change that out i would want to make the component dao use the component jdbc connection so let's do that quickly so now we have a component jdbc connection it should be set component jdbc connection so now the component dao uses component jdbc connection right so that's very cool now we actually have this component scan as a separate package in here and we have spring in five steps what i'm going to do now is i'm going to copy the scope application and create something called component scan application in the component scan application what we'll do is instead of looking for person person dao what we'll start doing is look for component dao so component dao component dao and let's import that in control one import please it should be fine i don't worry about the rest of this stuff so uh, all that i would want is the component dao i'll print the component dao out okay what we have done until now is just created a package outside the spring in five steps so we created it called component scan we created a simple dao which uses another auto wired thing called component jdbc connection and the component jdbc connection also is in the same package called component scan spring.basics now we have also created a simple component scan application class which is actually looking for the component dao class it's picking up that bean from the context and printing it out so let's see what happens when i run this run as java application aha it says exception in thread main it's saying i cannot find such thread with that definition so uh, it's saying i cannot find a component dao for you what is the problem why is it not able to find the component for us let's check the basics that we would usually check for so when i i check for something where a bean not found is found the first thing i'll check is is there an add component or an add service on it in this example i do have an add component on it so that's pretty cool so what else could be the problem at component is also present on the component jdbc connection so still this component is not being picked up what is the reason the reason why this is not being picked up is because this package whichever where it is present in is not part of the component scan so what happens is here we are saying spring boot application whenever we say something is a spring boot application it automatically defines a component scan on this package and the sub packages of it so everything in this package and its sub packages will be picked up by that component scan so whenever i say at spring boot application it's almost like saying at component scan is another annotation so at component scan and saying i want to component scan on this package i'm importing the component scan in so this is what is present by default so by default what we are looking for is everything inside this 
package. So everything inside this Spring in 5 steps package is by default picked up when we put Spring Boot application annotation on top of our thing. However, the things in other packages are not picked up. So if I want other packages to be picked up, then I would need to add a component scan on them as well. So here I would want to pick up this package as well. So I would want to pick up the component scan package as well. So I'll go to the component DAO and copy this and put it in here. Now what would happen is we would now scan this package for component. So let's run this. Right click run as Java application. Now no exception and also you can see that the component DAO is being printed out. This is one thing you should always remember. So component scan is a very important thing and every time you have a no bean found exception then the problem could be either of these two things. One is the add component or the add service or the corresponding annotation. If it's not there then that component will not be picked up at all. The other one is the absence of a component scan. So if you are not scanning that package for components then it will not even pick that specific thing up. So you can look at component scan as like a search. So Spring needs to find the components. It needs to be able to create the beans. For creating the beans, it needs to find the things which are eligible to be beans. And so it does a search. This search is called a component scan. And only the things which Spring finds during the component scan will be created as beans. So it's on you to tell Spring where to search for components. And that definition is called a component scan. It's very important that you understand component scan very well. So I would recommend you to play around with component scan as much as you can. Try and create a couple of example components, dependencies. Try and create a component scan and see what you can do with it. Until the next step, bye-bye.